This is what happens when you're gone for like five days. Come back and you were glued, trying to get right back zoned in to some more fights. Last time I left y'all, I was going over the Mayweather interview. Now I'm going to tell you, if you read the interview, you know that I met up with Floyd that Friday. We were supposed to meet up, and we did. Um, it was a lot of action at the factory. He was at the Visions First nightclub, and I didn't even get to meet with him there because I was tired. I just came off work. I was supposed to go up to Visions and meet him right quick. Nate forgot to call me, so I said, forget Visions all together. I'm going to just catch y'all when y'all come out because they had to go downtown and then come back towards to where I'm at. I mean, actually, 10 minutes from like where I grew up at. So my grandmother still lives there. So I just went by my grandmother's house, talked to her, took a nap, rest, and got a quick nap in right before time for the big throwdown. We get in there. The money team already showed up. They already there. I got a text saying they on their way. It's like 2.30 in the morning. We get there. Floyd's already upstairs. I get there. Our first person I seen is Joe Judah. We chop it up for a minute. And I talk to Nate. He see me up. Run over and talks to me. And I couldn't even see Floyd because of like all the security that was towering over him. The big fours with a dude, looking dude, you know, he really loves his job. So, of course, he went to like, hey! And then Floyd was like, he cool. So I come over and shake his hand. We take a picture for the website and I tell him who I am. And then he remembered me, said he read the article, he loved it, you know. From there, we talked about some other things. He talked about the uh, Pacquiao suing him. So, you know, right now everything's under the microscope. Uh, he, he told me that, that he gave a deposition. That he went to there and they made him give a deposition. And it was like maybe eight or nine hours or so. So he's just watching everything he put in there and make sure you put, like, he don't know. Uh, it appears to be, you know, all those words uh, because they're going to take everything he says completely out of content. Well, they got a microscope, so anything he says and it gets put in the, out of content, that can be taken a whole nother way. And, it, you know, you don't want to give Manny Pacquiao or anybody else any grounds to try to sue As I stated before, the goal is Manny Pacquiao. Uh, I mean, we all know it now. Me and Floyd said we talked for maybe five, six minutes. Tops, five. I got up, went to the floor, because this is a strip club. <laughs> there are strippers there, strippers activity. And some of the video I got on the phone that was sent to me by my man who's up in there. Um, I'm going to put some of it on Boxing Socialist because it's uncut, right? So I might put it in one of my uncut series, Private 13. And I had to get up in a couple of hours. I'm going to do that and there's something else I wanted to do. I was going to address some other issues. But, yeah, let me do that later. I'm going to stick to the to what we're doing right now, the topic. We go to the dance floor, the girls are going crazy, and P. Rilla comes by, and then Nate was like, yo, where the money? You know, I need a stack. Everybody got stacks. I mean, Floyd got a garbage bag full of $1 bills, all of them like 100, rubber band up, and they passing them around, pop, 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 pop. Everybody's getting more, and they just running from the bag, throw the money in the air, come back and grab another stack. Come back, grab another stack. I even got a stack. I'm in the, I didn't got into the habit. I'm 
throw it all. Now I realize that I didn't throw about five hundred dollars in there. That could have probably went in my pocket. <laughs> but when you when you're in the moment, you don't think about stuff like that. You know, it was just to have a good time, and we just had a great time throwing it away. Now I did been hundreds. I might have to say, yeah, can't throw these away. <laughs> <laughs> but all oh, those singles added up. It was a lot of fun. Uh, everybody had a good time. And we look forward to doing it again. Now, assessing the Centron fight, uh, I don't even know where I could go with assessing it any more than what I already have. It's obvious the man just has no heart. <coughs> Physical ability but no heart he had no belief in himself Molina told you that fight showed you he was done he was done there's nothing he could do and Cotto Margarito the fight that just shouldn't be it's like Cotto's a victim of circumstance this is the only big fight they can get him because Margarito really shouldn't be in the ring. He really should. I mean, he's barely got an eye. He got all these surgeries done on it. He back in the ring again. He hootie hot hot. And everybody is so dramatic talking about this. Fight is draining me. They're like, his wife. She's hugging the kids. They're crying at the last fight. He's emotionally into this fight. Kodo is, I'm like, Kodo's trying to sell a 24-7 because he's boring to watch on 24-7. This is a, another payday from Dale Kodo. He's a promoter now. People got to understand, he understands the business of promotion. Okay, Floyd Mayweather has laid out the golden carpet and shit. This is how you do it. And everybody's trying to do it. You got Adrian Brana, brush my hair. That's his new gimmick. So, that rubbed people the wrong way, especially in the sport of boxing. You got to pick and choose how you do that. And it's not good to do it when you're young and just starting out. You want to kind of wait till you like, get big fights before you start doing these type of things because trust me, Roy Mayweather never was doing this type of stuff until he got to the big stage. When he got to Gotti, boom, he exploded on the scene. And that's that. And we'll talk about more stuff later, like uh, Abeck Omaris and I don't know, but I need to incorporate some sleep in my life. I just hit stop.